Good evening. Today, sorry I missed yesterday, but uh, when I was sitting down to think of a word, I, to be honest, I, I couldn't think of anything, and my daughter, she just, uh, she will not go to sleep, so pray. I can hear her in the other room right now. She's going through this phase where she will not go to bed, so pray that the Lord has mercy on us because we want to get some sleep but no excuses as I was thinking today I just wanted to share this word from Proverbs twenty six twenty. it says where there is no wood then the fire goes out so where there is no tail bearer the strife ceases and that word for tail bearer is like a slanderer and other versions will say um, a whisperer, like someone who whispers in somebody else's ear, someone who gossips, somebody who speaks evil of somebody to somebody else. And, you know, the enemy, he's great at this, you know, because we don't even, I mean, it, it's terrible when there's somebody in your life who's repeating things and, and, and talking about you based on their perspective of you and, and what they think, and they have no clue what's going on in the background or why certain things happen or just just anything. And, and, and a lot of people accuse us because the enemy is in their mind telling them that we do things for certain reasons that are not true, you know lying about us and then you know the strife comes up people get angry you know i just had a guy get in my face the other day you know over nothing and like I, he it's funny because he's calling me a hypocrite and me fake and he's cussing me out like i can't even imagine how deranged his mind was to be accusing me of hypocrisy while he was F-bombing me and trying, getting in my face like he was going to knock me out. I'm just like, and, and I had to let it go, you know, and I had to pray for him, you know, but my heart, you know, it, I still get frustrated. I have to watch it, but I have to try and understand that that wasn't him. I hope not. And, and I feel sorry that he's that lost. You know what I mean? And to be cussing out somebody who he's, he's told me so many times. Like that I've inspired him through the word and all these things. And like, oh man. You know, and not, not that it's anything about me. But just to like, just to think how quickly Satan can turn somebody against you. Just like like the snap of a fingers, you know what I mean? Just like, just like everybody was just praising Jesus, laying down, um, the, you know, the, the branches, I can't think of the, the branches laying down the coats and the branches and, and praising the Lord saying Hosanna in the highest. Uh, and then a couple days later, they're crucifying him. You know, this is what's in man. This is what's wrong with us. We, we turn on people like at the drop of a hat just because we listen to somebody else speaking about them or we listen to lies in our own mind that the enemy's putting there. But we need to understand that if we would um, not listen to the talebearer, to the slanderer, then the strife would end. And, it, and it, you know, we have to stop you know, ourselves, and then we have to pray for others to stop, and we have to rebuke the enemy, and pray, and fast, for, and, and war, and against, with weapons of, of spiritual destruction, you know, to, to keep the enemy from just making such advancements, it's sad, but it says, you know, we got to find the balance too. I mean, I don't know. I hope we're not. 
But, you know, like it says in Matthew, because iniquity shall abound, the love of most will grow cold. It's on us, too. Like, even if we see these people slandering us and doing these things and and they don't repent and they continue to curse us, we have to still continue to love them. This is our responsibility, our priority now. We can't let our love grow cold. Let's not allow the slanderer to win. Amen.